End of the argument. Kelly, don't tell me how to live my life, Jim. My life is my life because I'm with you. Jim, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your... Kelly, you are, you are, it's your favorite pastime. You comfort me and make me happy. You make me believe that everything is going to be all right, and after a few days it dawns on me that nothing's changed, and I'm back to feeling depressed and miserable. Jim, if you want to do something with your life, change it. Kelly, I do change it, but you hold me back. You don't encourage me to truly move forward. Jim, of course I do. I'm the one who always pushes you to do things and follow your interests. Kelly, you are very clever, aren't you? You play the help me role, but you are master of getting what you want. Jim, I have no idea what the hell you are. Kelly, be honest with me, Jim. You want me old and miserable in this house. It's why we moved up here in the woods, in isolation, away from everything but deer, squirrels, and bears. I have no friends and I have to wait for you to come home from work before actually uttering a word to another human being. Jim, I call you during lunch. Kelly, are you kidding me right now? Jim, I'm just saying. Kelly, what? What is it that you are actually saying? Are you not hearing me? Jim, maybe we should plan a trip. Kelly, no! I don't want to plan a stupid trip because when we get back from our stupid trip, I will only be stuck in this house yet again, listening to crickets and birds. Jim, what is it that you want, Kel? Kelly, I want to live. Pause. Jim, you know we're here because of the money. This is where I make my earn for us and we've spoken so much about this sacrifice. It's temporary. Kelly, I feel like I am invisible to myself. Jim, what do you mean? Kelly, I don't know who I am anymore. Jim, aren't you writing? Kelly, no. Jim, don't you see? That's what pisses me off. We agreed to this and we had a plan. I'm holding up my end. I go out there and deal with BDNS I don't ever talk to you about because I try to make things good for you. And you go on about not doing anything with your life and it's because you don't stick to anything. Not one thing. And it's not me that pulls you away. It's yourself, but you blame me because you don't want to face yourself and I'm the easy scapegoat. Kelly, I want to move. Jim, what? Kelly, I want to leave this place. Jim, I thought we were saving to buy a house. Kelly, who gives a damn about a house? People put so much importance on owning a home when all it is in reality is a freaking liability for 30 years. Jim, what would you rather we do, rent for 30 years? Kelly, travel. Jim, travel? Kelly, travel. Live freely. Not be held down. Live our lives, so we can look back and know we experienced lives worth living. Jim, have you seen my wife, Kelly? Kelly, Jim. Jim, listen to me. We need to get out of this. Quit your job. I know you hate that damn job, and I know you are doing it so we can buy a house. I get it, and I know that's what we talked about, but I don't need a home. I don't want a home. I want to find some tiny studio somewhere, live minimally, and experience. Jim, I can't believe what you're saying. Kelly, why? Jim, how will we make money? Kelly, money owns everybody. Jim, you're not making any sense. Kelly, when we first met you worked at a coffee shop and I worked at a bookstore and we were happy, weren't we? 